Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome to the GLOBE Programs YouTube channel. My name is Maya, I am a GLOBE student blogger from Buenos Aires, Argentina, and today I am going to be teaching you some of the steps to completing a GLOBE protocol effectively. I did change the lighting and I want to do two things. And also, besides that, explain to you what a GLOBE protocol is. <laughs> a protocol is a hands-on science research activity. These activities are sorted out by age level. There are four types of GLOBE protocols. The first one is hydrosphere, which has to do with water. The second type is atmosphere, which has to do with air. The third one is biosphere. And the fourth one is about pedosphere, which would be about soil. So now that I've made all of these qualifications, we can start with the steps. But before that, I want to take you someplace interesting to explain this. We are at the river. First, you should choose a protocol that's related to your interests. For example, I am interested in water. So I would choose a protocol that's related to hydrosphere. I am personally interested in pH in water, so I would choose that protocol. For instance, if I wanted to check the um, pH in water spreadsheet um, protocol, I'd go to globe.government, click on the three lines on the top right, I'd go to glo do globe on the page, I'd go to by earth sphere, I'd click on hydrosphere because pH in water is about hydrosphere, and I'd slide down to the protocol section. In each page, you'll have a section that's called protocols, and you'll slide through the protocols until you get to your chosen protocol or cho choose the protocol you want over there by sliding. You check what's interesting to you. I'd click on pH. I'd click on pH again on the top left of that square, and I'd click on protocol PDF, pH protocol PDF, and there I'd have the spreadsheet explaining the pH protocol. and the introduction and the steps. Now let's do another example. Imagine you are interested in atmosphere protocol. You'd go to the three lines on the top right, you'd click on new globe by earth sphere, you'd click on atmosphere because you'd be interested in an atmosphere protocol, you'd slide down to protocols and slide to the one you're interested in. Let's imagine you are interested in precipitation, you'd click on precipitation, you'd click on precipitation PDF, and there you have the precipitation protocols. To continue, before starting with the protocol, you should make sure that you have all the materials necessary to practice it. If you don't, you probably won't get accurate results and you won't practice it effectively. To exemplify, I am going to use the example of the precipitation protocol that I used before. You'll probably see on your protocols um, PDF first page the a title called Materials and Tools. Under that title, there will probably be listed all the materials you need to practice the protocol. If you don't have those materials, don't do the protocol or get them to do it. Next, you should choose a protocol that's designed for your age level. For instance, if I'm 16 years old, I cho should choose a protocol that's for teenagers. As an example, I'm going to use the precipitation protocols uh, PDF again. Um, on the first page of your chosen protocols PDF, you should see a title that's called Level, and you'll check if the level is um, for your After age. After you've chosen your protocol and made sure you have all the materials, you should go and check the steps to practicing that protocol. To exemplify, I am going to use, once again, the precipitation protocol PDF. You'll probably have to slide some pages down on the PDF to find the steps to your protocol. Once you find them, start to follow them, and very closely. Also, before starting with your research, make sure that the environment is the appropriate one to practice that protocol. Make sure that the weather conditions are okay and that you don't put yourself at risk because your safety is priority while doing research. Once you've started following the steps of the protocol, make sure to focus on following those steps and stay in the moment. You'll leave the interpretations for later. 
focus on the observations and then you interpret those observations at the end of your research. When doing a protocol, make sure to always be patient and committed so that you will get effective results because if you have no motivation, you probably won't do it right. And also make sure to study basic concepts, concepts I'm sorry, of that protocol that you are doing. I advise you to practice your protocol with a team because as you might know, teamwork makes dream work. Once you've done your observations, you might want to start with your interpretations about the data you have observed. After you've finished with your report and recorded interpretations and observations, I advise you to share your data with your fellow scientists and with your community. You can share it, for instance, in science fairs. If you have any doubts about a protocol you're practicing, make sure to ask a scientist or someone who knows. Thank you so much for watching my first video as a Globe student blogger. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new today. If you did, I encourage you to like this video and to subscribe to the Globe Promise YouTube channel so that you don't miss my next video.